Hello friends, I am Himanshu Pant. In the first part of the video, we discussed how VC dimension can define performance of a classifier for a fixed value of training error and sample size. In this section, we will formulate VC dimension. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to estimate VC dimension of a non-linear classifier. Some work is being done to estimate VC dimension of a non-linear classifier of higher complexities, but by and large, it's an open problem. People interested in research work can take up this problem as their research area. On the other hand, VC dimension of a linear classifier is easy to calculate. In this section, we will discuss formal definition of VC dimension, but to comprehend it, we have to understand some basics. The two concepts are number one, points in general position and number two, shattering. Concept one, points in general position, statement. In an n-dimensional feature space, a set of m points where m is greater than n is in general position if and only if no subset of n plus one points lie on n minus one dimensional hyperplane. Let's take an example. In this example, we are taking two dimensional space, so n equals to two. Suppose we are taking four points, so m equals to four. Also, m is greater than n. Now these points are in general position because no subset of n plus one points, which equals to three, lie on n minus one, which equals to one dimensional hyperplane. Now one dimensional hyperplane is a line, so we can say, for a points to be in a general position. No combination of three points should lie on a straight line. Now if we add one more point, then m will become five. Now in our case, three points are lying in a straight line. So we can say that these points are not in a general position in two dimension space. Concept two, shattering statement. A hypothesis H shatters m points in n dimensional space if all possible combinations of m points in n dimensional space are correctly classified by h let's take a two dimensional case with linear classifier the linear classifier defines the hypothesis h let's take three points in two dimensional space which are in general position and label these points as a b and c these points can take only two values, either 1 or 0. Value 1 denotes class 1 and value 0 denotes class 0. As these three points can take only two values, there are eight possible combinations of these points, as shown in table. Now any straight line can correctly classify all of these possible combinations. For example, if A is in class 0 and B and C are in class 1, then this line classifies them. Or if we say, if A and C are in class 0 and B in class 1, then this line classifies them. So it can be said that a straight line shatters three points in two dimensions, provided points are in general position. Now let's take a case of four points, A, B, C and G. Now there can be 16 possible combinations. If A and B belongs to class 0 and C and G belongs to class 1, then no straight line can shatter them correctly. So we can say that four points in two dimension space are not shattered by a straight line. Now we are in a position to understand VC dimension and it is defined as a cardinality of the largest set of points that the hypothesis can shatter or number of points in the largest set of points that the hypothesis or a classifier can shatter. So VC dimension of a linear classifier is easy to compute. It's n plus one where n is number of input dimensions. As we have already seen in two dimensional space, a line can shatter three points. Similarly in three dimensions, a plane can shatter four points and so on, provided points must be in general position. For nonlinear classifiers such as neural networks, VC dimension is difficult to compute. Vapnik has suggested some empirical methods to compute VC dimensions for nonlinear classifiers, but this is out of the scope of this video. Finally, points to remember. Vapnik-Chervonenkis dimension 
is directly related to machine capacity for a given training set size and training error. VC dimension gives probabilistic upper bound on test error. VC dimension is a cardinality of the largest set of points that the machine can shatter. For good generalization, VC dimension of a machine should be finite. High value of VC dimension gives good generalization for asymptotical solutions. For small VC dimension, small training set may lead to good generalization. Thanks for watching the video. This is Iman Shupan, signing off.